The terracotta soldiers are a replica of the powerful Qin army that conquered six neighboring states to unify China. They racked up countless victories in battle, leaving behind a legacy that's lasted thousands of years. The terracotta warriors stand to attention in their original Qin battle formations, providing trained eyes with priceless insights into the emperor's military genius. After the terracotta army was found, we got to understand more about the Qin army's composition and the kind of soldiers they had. The battle formations are linked to each other internally, but they could also function independently. So in warfare, the formations could change according to the orders of the commander. Before the Qin dynasty, the battles for control between neighboring kingdoms threw China into constant chaos. It was during this time of instability that some of China's greatest military manuals were written, such as Sun Wu's The Art of War. These books on military strategy are still important references today, but they are known for being mysterious and obscure. It was the discovery of the terracotta warriors that shed new light on these ancient mysteries. The writings of the great military strategists describe in a mysterious way the different approaches and different kind of military governance operating during the feudal period of the Zhou dynasty which ruled China from the 8th to the 5th century BC. However, the terracotta warriors visually illustrate the military arrangement and organization of the warring states period particularly those of the Qin army. We now have actual objects that give us a better visual understanding of the lower and middle ranking officers. While the discovery of the terracotta statues in 1974 revealed details about the Qin army that had never been seen before, there was even more to come. In 1980, archaeologists discovered two magnificent sets of bronze chariots and horses, hardly a mile from the terracotta warriors. It was the world's largest find of ancient bronze work, built entirely by hand with over 1,720 pieces of gold and silver. These chariots were deluxe sedans from which the emperor could inspect his warriors in the afterlife. The chariots were found shattered into thousands of fragments. For the forensic teams, it was a massive challenge. Putting them back together was like taking on a giant jigsaw puzzle without having the picture on the box cover. The horse carriages are made entirely out of bronze, even the reins. After 2,200 years of being buried underground, the two horse chariots were seriously crushed. There were more than 3,000 pieces. It took many technicians and experts eight years to restore them with much difficulty. This was an incredible find of ancient artwork, which required painstaking efforts to restore. Today, we can see glimpses of the chariot's original glory in the delicate designs and attention to detail. The reins are lifelike, made up of small parts joined together by tiny rings so they can be twisted 360 degrees 
reflecting the softness of actual leather reins. The chariots also reveal one of the sources of the Qin army's invincibility. An elaborate crossbow sits at the driver's side, an arrow cocked at the ready. The Qin crossbow had a unique trigger mechanism, unmatched until centuries later in Europe. It was deadly accurate and powerful enough to penetrate any armor within a range of 2,600 feet. These bronze horse carriages are part of the funerary items of Qin Shi Huang's tomb. According to the archaeological research, there should still be more pits with accompanying items that have not yet been found. The mausoleum itself is a tremendous underground treasure trove. Now, we are still unable to estimate the amount of ancient artifacts hidden there. Archaeologists are convinced that massive areas of Emperor Qin's underground kingdom are still to be discovered. The terracotta warriors and the bronze chariots are just a tantalizing taste of what remains to be seen below the surface. Emperor Qin's all-important burial chamber was built to be ready in time for his death. His right-hand man reported its completion with a few haunting words. The project is complete. The middle and front doors are closed. All workers are trapped within. So far, nobody has been able to find the entrance to the main tomb where the emperor's body is believed to be buried. The ancient historian Sima Qian recorded that the tomb was guarded by crossbows, booby-trapped to launch deadly arrows at intruders. The crossbows protect what's believed to be one of the world's most magnificent collections of imperial riches. In Sima Qian's book, it was recorded that Emperor Qin's underground tomb contained rivers and seas of mercury. People at that time had the concept that all land under heaven belonged to the emperor. It's said that the imperial tomb envisioned an entire replica of the universe. The ceiling was covered with constellations made of pearls and precious gems. On the floor, a model of China's landscape with the Great Wall snaking across it and rivers of mercury winding through the valleys. In the center, an elaborate coffin housing the emperor's corpse.